Since the problem asks us to find the final distance by calculating the work done, we'll have to use conservation of energy concepts to find the distance. This formula is what the conservation of energy tells us. Since the problem says that the proton is very distant from the electron in our initial conditions, the initial potential energy can be ignored since the electric potential energy between two charged particles is inversely proportional to the distance between them. Next, let's rewrite these terms to make it more clear which variables we have and which variables we want to solve for. So of course, the kinetic energy of a moving object is equal to one half times the mass times the speed squared. I wrote the mass as m sub e to indicate that this is the mass of an electron, which we should know. The electric potential energy between two charged particles is equal to k times the product of their charges divided by the distance between them. In this case, the two charges we're dealing with are a proton and an electron, which both have the same charge magnitude but with opposite signs, hence the negative sign here. Since the proton and the electron have the same magnitude of charge, the elementary charge in fact, I'll just rewrite this charge part here as E squared, where E is the elementary charge. R final represents the final distance between the proton and the electron after they've moved for some time. This is the variable that we want to find, and it's what we want to solve for. So to solve for it, let's first isolate this term on its own by adding it to both sides of this equation. We can also simplify this a bit algebraically by factoring out the one-half times me, since that's included in both of these terms. Now, to solve for r final, let's multiply both sides of this equation by r final, and then divide both sides of the equation by all of this stuff on the right here. And this is what we end up with. We don't have the value of the final speed, but we do know that it's equal to twice the initial speed. At least that's what we're trying to find. So let's substitute 2 times vi, the initial, for v final. That part comes out as 4 times v initial squared minus v initial squared, since 2 squared is 4. We, of course, can subtract one of these v initial squared, and it becomes 3 v initial squared. This is probably as much as we can simplify it. Now let's just plug in our values, so the initial speed, which is given to us by the problem, as well as the other constants we have. And here are the other constants we'll need, k, e, and the mass of the electron. Now plug these and the initial speed into our formula, and we find that r initial, or r final, and we find that r final is equal to about 1.64 times 10 to the negative 9 meters. Or we can rewrite this as about 1.64 nanometers. In the interest of preserving significant figures, it probably would be better to leave out the 4 here, leaving us with a better final answer of 1.6 nanometers.